Did you guys know that ducks can't walk without bobbing their head? That's facts. That's true statement. And I know that because <laughs> I love snapples. Snapples are so freaking good. Like this one, this lemonade at iced tea half and half one is the bomb. It's one of my favorites next to the peach tea one. Like the peach tea is good and this one's good. I think this one's my favorite though if I'm not drinking this for tea I'm drinking brisk iced tea and that's only if for some reason I'm being like super duper cheap if I'm drinking tea chances are it's a snapple tea because they're so bomb or sometimes I'll get the Arizona tea sometimes but it'll be like the lemon iced tea or whatever sometimes I'll get that but the majority of the time my tea drinking consists of the snapple brand and that is it um yes so i just entered melissa flores's melissa flores i guess that's how you would say flores's in plural i don't know or not in plural but you know what i mean anyway i just entered melissa flores's um giveaway she has a giveaway right now going on well it's probably not going to be going on when i post this video but she has this giveaway for a blow dryer set um, and a brush and it is so cute and I really really want to win it so um, I just watched her video the rules are very simple for her giveaway so I just entered to win hopefully I win that blow dryer because I really want it to do my hair so I can be doing some cute little blowout styles and everything like that be popping um, but yeah it is such a beautiful day today I just entered the contest the sky is blue the grass is green the birds are chirping I swear summer is my favorite season like most girls you ask them you know what's your favorite season they'll say autumn and they'll be like oh it's always fall it's my favorite season because you can just dress so cute and it's never too hot and then they tell you all this fake stuff not me summer is my favorite season like yeah it's hot especially being in Texas like it get hella hot here but I just love I love the heat I love the sunlight I love the clear skies. I love the green grass and everything like that. I just love the summertime. And yeah, you know, you gotta find cute stuff to wear. You can't really wear jeans. You gotta do upkeep with your waxing or your shaving if you shave. You know, you gotta worry about that because you're gonna be wearing shorts. Probably gonna be wearing tank tops and short sleeves and everything like that. That's, I get it, it's a lot to worry about. But I will make that sacrifice. I will do my waxing every two weeks faithfully i will you know i love long sleeve shirts but i will put those away lock them in the closet for a bright sunny day like i just love summer so much i love the bright i just i like it i don't know um i was outside like with my son last weekend and we were in like his little pool in the front yard and i was out there for a minute i didn't put any sunscreen on but i didn't even get that tan like i got tan and it went away that night it's crazy so um, I don't even mind being darker than what I am right now like I think I will get like a maximum of about two shades darker maybe two and a half ish shades darker than what I already am right now I look super bright on this camera um, I'm not this bright in real life I swear but I do get a little bit darker in summer and I really don't mind it like I don't mind the tan lines any of it I don't mind having to find a new foundation because my foundation don't match no more <laughs> I just really I don't mind it I just love the summer that much um, I love I love vacationing we've been to Cancun twice and I love freaking Cancun because the weather's always beautiful it's always nice um, it's always warm sunny and the water is warm I love warm pool water ocean water you name it i love warm water dog like i don't know it's just the summer i love the summer i'm so excited for it the spring is cool i guess it's technically still spring right now but because this is texas we just skip from winter straight into summer like it don't really hit spring like that maybe you'll get two weeks of spring but that's about it. It goes straight into summer here in Texas. So, um, 
yeah I really I really enjoy it spring is cool but it's too many little critters out flying around they land on your shoulder you're like Ugh, a bug and you get all scared and stuff I'd be scared I'm scared of all bugs so I do not mm -mm. beetles be out flying around and all that other crazy stuff I don't have the time for it I prefer the summer when everything is hiding trying to get away from the sunlight and I'm just out busting in the sun in the sun in the ambiance you know what I'm saying out in the beautifulness of life during the summertime I hate to go in the nail shop with out wax legs but it is what it is baby I didn't wax my legs so I just left the nail shop um well I am Technically, I didn't leave the nail shop because their ATM or their little whatever machine was down. So I had to get cash at the ATM right now. <laughs> wow, that's a fail. And then on top of that, um, hold on, I'm going to tell y'all the story in a minute. Okay, I'm back. So like I was saying, um, their debit little machine was down. So I had to go to the ATM over here in the shopping center but I wanted my nails done but I'm so tired of like the whole MMA thing so I, so I was like do you use MMA and she flat out was like yeah um if I do your nails I'm gonna have to do MMA and I was like well I don't want that because um I don't want to have my nails all beat up with the nail filer like I don't have time for that um so I settled for a shellac gel set instead um i got gray i don't know if you guys can see that i got gray um that's my first time getting gray i don't think i've ever gotten gray before so i'm about to walk back in here and go ahead and pay these people and then head out and um i have a homegirl though that does nails and she does them like out of her home or whatever so i think i'm gonna start going to her house and just getting my nails done there because I can trust that she won't use no MMA on my nails and that I won't have to deal with um, like the whole stupid grinding down of my nails um, being all extra being all extra and stuff like that to grind down my nails with that little filer so I'm gonna um, start making appointments with my homegirl and getting my nails done there instead cuz um, damn this sound like crazy because yes, boo-boo, um, I'm not dealing with that no more. It makes my nails look so unhealthy and so nasty looking. And yeah, I'm not about that life no more. So I got one more story. Okay, so I when I went in there to get my nails done, I'm driving my husband's truck right now because the car seat is in my truck and my son had soccer today. So my husband took my son to soccer while I got my nails done. Fly, because he's nice. Um, so he took my son to soccer well, I got my nails done and they went out and they're going to have like a little father son date for dinner and they got haircuts and stuff. But anyway, like I was saying, when I got out the truck to go in there to get my nails done, I locked it with the little remote. And by the time we, I was finished, I came back outside to go to the ATM and I was like, oh, oh, I don't have the remote on the keys. So um, where is it? Like what happened to it? So I was like, I'll just drive to the ATM really quick and um, go ahead and go get the money to pay for this. And then I'll drive back over here and I'll find the remote when I pick up my water bottle that I left in the nail salon. So I went in the nail salon, I paid, I got my water bottle and I was looking around for the little remote. I looked everywhere for that little thing. Like I, I was like, they, I had them push back the table. I looked all up under the chair I was at because I only literally moved four feet literally that's all i moved i moved from one chair to the next chair the and i went over to like the little nail polish section and that was it it was nowhere to be found and it's not like there was like a cluster in there so it should have been easy to find i could not find that thing so the lady in there was like tommy go outside and help her look where um to retrace her steps so i came outside because i swore it was in there i came outside and lo and behold it was in the damn parking lot on the ground in the middle of like a parking space but it was a clear parking space so someone had parked there while I was leaving here to go get the cash someone had parked in that little handicapped parking space where I dropped the remote and um, I was like how did it get 
over here. I was so freaking upset. I had to tip those people all the rest of the money that I had. Like, I was so upset that this little thing fell off. And what's worse is that it freaking, it's broken. Like, on the, like, and I don't know how that happened. Like, how does that break? Like, how does that fall off? How? Sway? How? I don't know how it broke. Um... I, I just I don't know I didn't even pay attention to like how it was secured to his keys when I left <sighs> at least I found it um I don't know what he gonna do about it that ain't my fault I'm pretty sure it wasn't run over and that's how like it got broken because it was in the middle of the parking space so I mean I guess she did kind of park messed up when she came through and she had to do it twice um which explains why she parked in the handicap just kidding <laughs> but um yeah like i don't i don't think she ran over it and i was only gone for like two minutes so i don't know why she parked there for two minutes and then left that was weird but um because there's only a nelson line of five below and a dicks over here so i don't know what the heck she was doing parked there for like two minutes anyway yeah um that was a little bit upsetting and it's upsetting now that it's broken like i feel so bad I hate when I'm driving and like you can't get around nobody because the leader of the pack in the very front is going slow and then the leader of the pack next to them is going slow too so now there's like a whole line of vehicles and we're all going slow because these two people like they just don't allow you any space to get over and move around their asses and it's so annoying like and you can tell when people are upset that like they're going nowhere or when there's traffic and people are like why is there traffic because they start doing that little swerving thing where they look to the side to try to figure out whose fault it is that we're either going so slow or we're stuck in traffic like that's me the nosy driver that want to know who this is that's like making us you know all be stuck like who is this that's wasting all of our time like time is precious and when i'm driving i got places to go obviously because i'm driving so get out of the way nobody has time for these little games of who can drive the slowest on the road they should put like minimum speed limit signs instead of speed limit signs like for real i feel like i take them all to mean minimum anyway like if the sign says 60 i'm going 60 while i'm exiting i'm not going 60 when like I'm in the fast lane or something like that. When the sign say 60, I'm going about 80.